Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Kill. We need to talk about this. You know when your shit sounds like somebody else's shit? You're making it because you think you because you're in the studio like, what's the number one record right now? We need to make another one of those. Stop doing that! Stop! You're not original! Give me some original shit! Give me some... Are you seriously telling me that you sat here and watched me tell a bitch to eat a dick and you thought that wasn't original? Are you seriously sitting here telling me that eat a dick is the bad part of music? Stop! Just fucking do something else! Just, God damn it! Do some different music! We have all the shit that you're doing. We already have it. Lil Uzi Vert is already doing it. Lil Baby is already doing it. The Baby is already doing it. It's literally two niggas with baby in their names that's already doing all the music you want. Do something else. Do something else. That's it. That's all we want. Do something else. Holy shit. We have it. We have it already. You don't have to do that music anymore. We have the music already. We have Lil Baby. We have Da Baby. We have Lil Uzi Vert. We have Lil Yachty. We have Lil Everybody. Do something else. Holy shit. Stop sending me this bullshit. And then get mad when I fucking don't like it. Jesus. God damn tap dancing Christ. <laughs> do something else it's not even a problem of people sending me music it's people sending me the same fucking music that everybody else is doing and they're getting mad when I say well, I already heard this that's the only thing I get mad about you getting mad because I say your shit sounds like the shit that's already out and you know it does you know it does you know your shit sounds like little baby shit because you say, oh, this is what's winning. I need to do this now. I need to do it. You don't, you, you, you don't even check hey, your fucking cool. self, hey. and you get mad when I check you. I realize the state that music is in, but I also know that there's good music in the state of music right now. The thing is that motherfuckers that make bad music have the most money. So they can, they can spend fucking 300 grand on promoting a record right now. And that's the record you're going to spend the most attention on. But if I make better music and I got 20 grand to promote the shit, you're not going to see it. I understand that. I understand the state of music. The state of music has always been bad, but it's about who's willing to put the most money into it and put the most promotion behind it. How the fuck did Umbop get popular? Because they spent money on it. But that was a bad state of music. Every era of music had a bad record. But the reason that the bad record was good was because the record label behind it decided we could spend any amount of money on this shit and people have to listen to it. I get that. I understand that. I'm not saying that this generation of music is worse than any other. I'm not saying that, oh my God, I'm so mad that my kind of music isn't getting popular right now. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm not chasing that anymore. I used to chase that shit. I don't want to do that anymore. That's not my, that's not my thing. That's not my thing. I'm not, I don't give a fuck what my records do. I don't give a fuck about numbers. I don't give a fuck about that shit because I know all that shit can be bought. All of it. All of that shit can be bought. Oh, this person got uh, th th their first week uh, is, is planning on do their first week can be bought. Their sales, their streams can be bought. You can buy them. I don't give a fuck about that. Grammys can be bought. Awards can be bought. All of that shit can be bought. I don't give a fuck about that shit. But I do give a fuck about you doing something right. different right. with your fucking music. Do something different. Do something that I haven't heard. Do something that we don't have already. You're not going to be a better blue face. 
You're not going to be a better little baby. You're not going to be a better dub baby. You're not going to be a better T-Pain. Just do something else. Shout out to T-Pain. Um, I'll, I'll put it like this, all right? I, I talked about my little stint in the music industry. Short-lived, very uneventful, if you will. But I was there. I took meetings with crazy record companies, VPs, you name it. I did some ghost producing. I got stuff placed. Didn't amount to hella beans, but like I was there. Pretty much everybody in my family has a platinum or gold plaque except for me. I'm the only one who doesn't. I agree with T-Pain a thousand percent on this. T-Pain, he had a rant on his Twitch stream. And I suggest you watch it because it's kind of interesting. But when I was there uh, trying to shop music, unsuccessfully, I might add, but I still try to do it. Uh, I would take these meetings and the A&Rs would be like, I want a song that sounds like this. And my mentality was, but there's already that thing out there. You're never going to duplicate it. You're never going to get to that same level. Don't do stuff like that. And, you know, when I did the thing with Swizz, Swizz was like, don't make Rough Rider beats. We got those. We liked you, what you guys are doing, because it was different. And kudos to him for even saying that or acknowledging that, because <laughs> everybody right now in the music industry is trying to make the same thing from whatever thing that got lucky. And technically, it didn't even get lucky. They just spent more money on it. The dirty secret for the music industry today is that everything's bought and paid for. There's no, well, this song came out and, oh, just it was bubbling in the underground and people really liked it. And then, oh, my God, this DJ played it somewhere and somebody famous was like, I'm going to put this in. No, 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 no. Everything is bought and paid for. <laughs> to make it into the streaming services, bought and paid for. To make it into the playlist, bought and paid for. To make it in the YouTube, number one trending, bought and paid for. Everything is bought and paid for. There is nothing that's chance anymore. Back in the day, it was paid for, and that was more for radio play. But eventually, you still had to produce. Somebody had to go down to the store and buy your thing. Somebody had to go to the magazine and pick up the copy that you're, you were on the cover of. Somebody had to still do that. Now... The numbers are just fake. Yeah, fugazi, fugazi, it's a wazi, it's a woozy, it's a fairy dust. It doesn't exist. That's what it is. The numbers, they don't mean anything. This is a house of cards, uh, a house of mirrors, a house of glass. You name a house that is bullshit, this is what this is. Nothing matters. I can't stress this enough. And there's examples of this thing pushing through all the time. Something like Morgan Wallen, I, I talked about him before. And the reason why it was so interesting to me is because the record company was like, well, we're not going to support him anymore. And the actual fans supported him. And they're like, oh, shit, we got a problem here. So they're like, well, the fans like him. They have no spine. None of these people have any spine. They don't think for themselves. All they do is what's happening here. Let's follow and make 45 copies of that until they find something new and they're gonna make 45 copies of that. Now, if you think really hard in the music industry, why is there only one artist on the level of Beyonce? Shouldn't there be more people on that level just keep popping out? Because before Beyonce, there was more people like that. Like uh, Whitney Houston, Nita Baker, whatever. Like you, you name a, a pop, Mariah Carey, you name somebody, it was a superstar status. Why is the music industry so stagnant? Think about it for a second. Why is Taylor Swift the last person to get this big again? Why is Drake the last person to get this big again? Why is Jay-Z the last person to get this big again? It's not for lack of trying, I'll tell you that much. Everybody is chasing their tail. They're, they're chasing the photocopy of the photocopy, thinking that they found gold. This is the Solutions Channel. I'm going to give you some solutions. You want to fix the music industry? Give it back to the fans. Let the fans decide. And the other thing you need to do? Originality. 
The first person of a thing, that's the last time you can do that. No more. That's it. Biggie doesn't sound like Jay-Z. Jay-Z doesn't sound like Nas. None of these people sound the same. Their music is different. They even have the same producers, and even that is different. Just think about it as a thought experiment. Go back. None of this music sounds the same. And when it started to blend together, you could kind of see the smoke clear out. Hip-hop was dominating the charts for a long time. When DMX came out, there was not another DMX. Ja Rule didn't sound like DMX. There was not another. DMX was DMX. Old Dirty Bastard was Old Dirty Bastard. Method Man was Method Man. They're in the same crew and they don't even sound the same. Like, how hard is this? This seems, this seems fairly logical. You go to the studio and you say, hey, somebody laid down their verse. Oh, damn. I was going to do that. Okay, let me go back to the drawing board and do something different. That's all you have to do. It is that simple. You want to fix rap music? That is that simple. All you have to do is make something different. That's it. This is the reason why Drake is still here. Drake hops on your mumble raps and then he goes home and does him. He does his sing-songy things. He drops some bars. They're like, oh, okay, Drake still got it. All right. And his beats don't sound like yours. That is it. The fact that he has 40 curating his music. Well, Boy Wonder and T Minus, all these people, the fact that these people, Ill Mind, all these people, they have the same, they have beats for everybody else, but Drake beats are different. <laughs> he didn't crack the Da Vinci code. All he's doing is making sure he doesn't sound like you scrubs. That's it. That's all he's doing. And Dr the, the genius of Drake is Drake is going around and he's got his pen and palette. Oh, you're going to do that? Oh, word. Okay, cool. And then he makes it better. <laughs> that used to be the norm. That That's all you had to do. You take this thing and make it your own. That's it. And then you get music from producers. And you say, hey, that sounds like the beat you sold that guy. I don't want that. <laughs> cool. Problem solved. Everything solved. Music industry goes on. T pays like, yo, all right, great. Because there's variety. That is the thing. If there's 90 rappers who have the exact same beat, who sound the same, how long can this thing ride for? It can't. This is why this thing's propped up with bamboo sticks. No, no. This thing's propped up with popsicle sticks and glue, all right? That's what's holding the music industry together. Hoping that you don't actually look at the charts. And you don't actually ask, well, wait, what are these numbers? That's how this thing is being held together. Nobody's actually looking at it. This is the only reason. We, it, the music industry right now is so bad. When somebody gets number one on Billboard, nobody's like, congratulations. Oh, my God, this is an amazing feat. Everybody's like, mm. <laughs> these artists who are supposed to have 500 million views, they can't even fill a parking lot. <laughs> like what, what is this? If I was in a record company, I would be nervous that one of these top superstar artists can't even fill a parking lot. Just 20 cars in a Walmart. You can't fill that? <laughs> That's how little people actually care about you outside of the internet. <laughs> that is a problem. I'm just saying, for the overall music industry, that is a problem. That your fans do not translate to the real life because they're not real fans. They're bots. Bought and paid for. Bots. That's the dirty secret about the music industry. Bots. People out there think, oh, this guy sold 8 million grand. <laughs> Word. See some receipts. You want to see no receipts because they don't exist. Oh, 500 million streams. All right. Divide that by 3,000. <laughs> Not that much, is it? No. 
Because that's the dirty secret about the music industry. 3,000 streams equal an album. When they go on Billboard, the 3,000 streams that they count from YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, whatever else, wherever your music is posted, 3,000 of those things count an album. That's the thing propping up the music industry to make these numbers. Oh my goodness, 80,000 records sold in the first week. Word. All right. <laughs> music is worthless. Just getting back to the music is worthless. This is the problem. There's no value intrinsically into music because you don't pay the artist anymore. You pay a music streaming service and then they pay the artist. None of that money's even going to them at this point. <laughs> I think it is so complicated and ridiculous, but the fact of the matter is people don't think of music as having value because I want to hear a song. Even if I don't have a Spotify or a title, whatever account, I can still go on YouTube and hear this song. Music is worthless. YouTube is free. Thus, the song is free. Music is worthless. I think I ramped enough. You know what? Damn it. You want to support the channel? Go to djkeo.store. Buy from my t-shirt shop, damn it. I got mugs. I got t-shirts. Yada, yada, yada. You know what it is. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, peace out, bitches. <laughs>